Well, it gives me great pleasure to say, Dave Tarpey, welcome back to Working Football Club. Thank you. Um, let's go back in time. You were with us for sort of January, basically, around then. Um, I presume you enjoyed it, otherwise you wouldn't have come back again. Yeah, it was a sort of, it was a good f spell for me. Obviously, I played, it was the first time in 18 months that I'd played back-to-back -back games. I think I managed to get seven games in in four weeks. Um, and yeah, I really enjoyed it. And um, as soon as I sort of knew I was going to be leaving Barnet, that was the first person I called. Right. Um, and you say you got seven games in four weeks. Did that did that give you a real boost psychologically to know that you could your body would cope with that? Yeah, that was the main thing that I was trying to get out of the lane um, to sort of get back playing regularly. Um, the performances were sort of not my main priority. Um, I knew sort of the fitter I got, the better I'd play. But yeah, in my head, I think if I can get two games together, three games together, sort of it just sort of clears my mind and know yeah. that I can sort of do it. Yeah, and uh, you then went back to Parnit, and I think I'm right in saying you, you started off warming the bench a little bit, but you actually got in the starting eleven, didn't you? Yeah, I, was, I think I was on the bench for the first couple of games. Yeah, and then started with some the striker got sent off, so I started in his place, um, and yeah, started seven games. We went unbeaten. I think that was the run where we didn't concede a goal. Did really well, um, and then sort of towards the end of the season, once we sort of agreed that I probably won't be there. That, Sort of this coming season, I sort of be like faded out a little bit, yeah, which is a little bit disappointing. Um, because I thought my performances did want me to continue playing, but that's down to the manager, of course. So, when and why did you decide that you did want to become a part time player again? I once I knew I was, sort of wouldn't be at Barnet next year, I sat down with my partner and we decided sort of where we would go, obviously. I've got to, like a young family, so we thought for my future, what's the best thing for me and for well for my family. And we I had an offer to go back to the company I worked for before, um, you know, sort of a step up role to what I was previously when I worked there. And we decided that was probably our best sort of decision to, to make. Um, obviously, that's full time work, so full time football wouldn't work with that. Um, so I decided to go part time. Right. And I remember it, the the information coming out from Barnet that you you wouldn't be continuing there because you wanted to go part time, and then you've you've already said just now that Douse was the first person you called. Yeah. So did, did you call him or did he call you? No, I called him as soon as I knew um, I wouldn't be at Barnet. Obviously, I enjoyed my time here, and sort of we'd always we continued to speak when I went back to Barnet. He was always asking me, sort of, can I come back and finish the season right. um, obviously that didn't, didn't work out so yeah he was the first person I called because um, right. I knew sort of whether they, they, would, they would be in the conference south or getting promoted sort of where was the club I wanted to be at it's a hypothetical question but would that have made any difference which no. league we were in no you were still I would have, keen yeah, to I would, come I was, I was keen, keen to sign whichever league they were in right good to know well I've got written down here working first choice question mark you've already answered that um so you actually came to both the playoff games, didn't you, with your family? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I came with my family and met sort of, I met all the players again, and I actually did. I went for a few training sessions as well. Um, yes, leading, you were leading spotted up, in the picture leading up with to the playoffs. Um, yeah, Dallas had come down and sort of tip yourself over. Um, so I did that. It was quite fun, and yeah, yeah it was uh, yeah, it was good to sort of be around them leading into the playoffs, and yeah, it was good. Uh, yeah, yeah Dav, got, got Dav sent me that photo from his phone, and he said, "Put this up on the website," and. Uh, I, I said, I asked him if you were in it, and yeah. he said, oh, God, yeah, he is. Oh, well, never mind, we'll, we'll deal with it if we have yeah, to. Yeah, as soon as I saw the picture on Twitter, within a minute, someone had, uh, <laughs> yeah. I think someone had spotted me, but... Well, yeah, they, it did, a, they did, yeah. it took longer than I expected, actually, but you did get spotted yeah. again. But uh, we just ignored it and didn't say anything. And no, it didn't turn into a big issue, so nah. that, was, that was all fine. Um, I presume you enjoyed those two games. They were pretty amazing spectacles, weren't they? They were um, sort of the Wildstone game. It was, uh, it was a funny old game. I thought after sort of 60 minutes, it was all Wildstone and that was it. Um, but they sort of seemed to die and obviously whatever Dale said at half time worked. Um, and then yeah, the, the first goal was crucial. Hmm. But then yeah, to, uh, to finish it the way it did, yeah, it was brilliant. Yeah. It was good to watch. And the final, what an occasion. Yeah, it was obviously to play a final everyone wants, obviously everyone wants to win so yeah the uh it was a great great win yeah if you were a willing supporter you'd probably feel 
slightly aggrieved that you didn't at least get extra time or and or penalties, but you look in the book and it says Woking won. Exactly, that's what it counts. Yeah, exactly. Okay, Dowse has said that uh, one of his main priorities in anybody and everybody that he's going to sign for next season is that they have a point to prove. And I guess he thinks your point to prove is that you're, you're fully okay after your injury. I'm sure you are. Yeah. But, um, um, do you feel you've got a point to prove? Yeah, in a way, because obviously I haven't really played at this level. I've just yeah, that, that was... got promoted with Maiden Ed, only played six or seven games, then went to Barnet. Obviously, I was injured after two, and I, was, I only really played sort of six or seven when I went back to Barnet. So it would be good to get a full season in this league and see sort of what I can do. Yeah. And uh, I also believe that Dow said that you're going to come in for some extra sessions with him. Is that right? I will see about that. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks, uh, he was saying this is a very positive thing, that you're very keen to get as fit as you possibly can and that uh, you'll be doing a bit of extra work. Yeah, it? I sort of, I feel like I, I, if I have a very good pre-season, get as fit as I can, um, I hope I can have a very good season. Um, obviously, my last two years have been so soft start. After, since the end of the season, I've had a little break just to sort of rest myself, but yeah, I'm ready to go now. Right, good. And uh, you've mentioned a couple of times about work. Uh, what exactly is it you do and who do you work for? Give them a plug. I work for a company called Network Security. Um, it's a sort of security systems company that fits uh, fire alarms, security alarms. Um, and I'm a project engineer sort of working on the sort of big building sites. Right. And you're actually, you were telling me just now, you're on quite a big job at quite a big venue at the moment. Yeah, we're doing a sort of a massive theatre in Croydon called Fairfield Halls, sort of a multi-million pound project. Um, it's been going on for about a year and I've probably got about six months left. So, um, yeah, I've gone into it and sort of enjoying what I'm doing at the minute. And is that a, a five days a week job? It's a proper full-time job. Yeah, Monday to Friday. Sort of right. start at half seven, finish at four. So it's, it's, by the time I get home, it's about half past six. Yeah. <laughs> it's real proper employment. Yeah, it is, yeah. Um, but I was doing that before when I was yes. uh, at Maidenhead, so I'm used to... Yeah, it's actually the same company the time, yeah. back to, isn't it? Yeah, same company and, I was at before. And we can also scotch the rumour that you own this company. Yeah, I definitely don't Multi-million pound <laughs> I wish job. I did, but yeah, I definitely don't. <laughs> okay. And last question, are you going to set yourself inside your head or, or publicly any targets for the season? Not publicly. Um, I just want to try and get through the season without any injuries. Um, get as many goals as I can in here, hopefully. But will, will, will you have a, a number season. in your head? I do have a number in my head. Yeah, um, right. it's, real, it's a realistic amount for me. Um, obviously, it's going to be a tough season for the club as well, not just as well as me. Um, but I'm pretty sure and confident that with the players that he's retaining and he's potentially signing, we'll, uh, we'll stay clear of safety and yeah, we'll stay up. Good. And uh, will you tell us when you reach that number? Make it public then? I will do, yeah. Okay, brilliant. It's great to see you back again. Thanks very much for calling in on your way home this evening. Very grateful. Thank Look forward you very to seeing much. you next season. Thank you. Cheers.